Welcome to the Warhammer 40,000 Chronicles. I am Faust Kellum. Today, we have an in-depth exploration of one of the most formidable war machines in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. The legendary Baneblade. As we journey through its history, design, armaments, battle prowess, and the legends it has spawned, we will uncover the very essence of this colossal titan within the Warhammer 40,000 Grim Dark 41st Millennium, the Bane Blade stands tall as a symbol of both terror and hope. The tale of the Bane Blade begins in the turbulent era of the Horus Heresy, a civil war that engulfed the Imperium of Man that led them seeking a weapon capable of turning the tides of war. The Mechanicus delved into ancient forbidden knowledge to construct the first Bane Blade. Through a combination of techno arcana and dark rituals, the tech priest created this super heavy tank as an instrument of terror and salvation. From the forge worlds of Mars to the furthest reaches of the galaxy, the Bane Blade has left its indelible mark on history. As the fires of the Horus Heresy died down, the Bane Blade emerged as a symbol of hope and a deterrent against the horrors that threaten humanity. Standing proudly as a monument to ancient engineering and the resilience of the Imperium, it continues to serve as a bulwark against darkness that seeks to consume it. At the core of the Bane Blade's awe-inspiring design is its colossal size, a true titan among war machines, stretching over 30 meters long and towering more than 12 meters tall. This behemoth strikes fear into the heart of its adversaries. Its design philosophy revolves around two crucial aspects, survivability and firepower. The crowning jewel of the Bane Blade's armaments is its fearsome Bane Blade Cannon, capable of obliterating enemy fortifications and vehicles with a single devastating shot. Complementing this monstrous main cannon are a multitude of secondary weapons, such as the Coax Auto Cannon, heavy bolters, and las cannons, providing the Bane Blade with versatility to engage various threats effectively. Over the eons, different forged worlds within Imperium have adapted the Bane Blade chassis to create specialized variants to combat specific adversaries. These adaptations reflect the diversity of threats across the worn torn galaxy, where innovation is a matter of survival. Among the notable variants, are these the storm lord equipped with multiple heavy bolters to sweep aside enemy infantry the bane sword featuring a massive volcano cannon designed to annihilate heavily fortified positions and the shadow sword specialized in anti-titan warfare with its potent titan killing weapon the volcano lance as a frontline behemoth, the Bane Blade's mere presence has the power to rally Imperial Guard troops, instilling them with newfound courage and determination. Its thick frontal armor can withstand all but the most potent enemy weaponry, making it a formidable anchor around which the Imperial Guard can mount their defenses. In battle, the Bane Blade serves as a spearhead, leading armored assaults, or bolstering defensive lines. Its imposing firepower can decimate enemy infantry and armored alike, shifting the tide of battle in the favor of the Imperium. The war chants of the Imperial Guardsmen, accompanied by the thunderous rumble of the Bane Blade's tracks resonating across the battlefield, is a testament to the indomitable will of humanity. Through the millennia, the Bane Blade has become the subject of countless legends and stories, passed down from generation to generation. Tales of heroic last stands, daring rescues, and insurmountable odds turned in the Emperor's favor by this indomitable war machine echo through the annals of history. One such legendary tale is that of Lehman Russ and the Bane Blade, where the Primarch of the Space Wolves, Lehman Russ himself, commandeered a Bane Blade to single-handedly take on a legion of Chaos Titans. His heroic act inspired a thousand worlds and demonstrated the sheer audacity and power of this awe-inspiring war machine. The presence of a Bane Blade on the battlefield significantly influences the Imperial Guard tactics. The strategic placement of this colossal war machine can make or break engagements, turning the tide of battle that seems unwinnable. 
in response to its presence. Enemies often divert valuable resources to counter the threat, allowing the Imperial Guard to exploit weaknesses somewhere else. The Bane Blade's overwhelming firepower and defensive capability makes it an ideal anchor for holding vital objectives or defensive lines. Its presence alone can deter enemy advancements, bolstering the morale of Imperial Guard forces and inspiring them to fight with unwavering determination. The Adeptus Mechanicus plays a crucial role in the maintenance and repair of the Bane Blade. These enigmatic tech priests hold ancient knowledge and secrets that are passed down from one generation to the next. Their sacral rites and techno arcana rituals allow them to commune with the machine spirit, ensuring that the Bane Blade remains optional even in the most grueling of battles. Furthermore, the Adeptus Mechanicus constantly seeks to unlock the true potential of the Bane Blade, delving into its ancient schematics and studying its performance on the battlefield. Their questing naturally drives them to develop new adaptations and improvements to keep the Bane Blade on the forefront of the Imperial Arsenal. Despite its awe-inspiring reputation, the Bane Blade is not without its challenges and vulnerabilities. Its sheer size can sometimes hinder maneuverability in certain terrains, leaving it susceptible to ambush and flanking attacks. Additionally, the formidable maintenance required of this massive war machine demands constant support from the Adeptus Mechanicus. Moreover, as all things in the grim dark of the far future, the Bane Blade faced the constant threat of sabotage and corruption. Heretical cults and chaos entities seeking to corrupt the machine spirit and turn this potent weapon against the Imperium. To counter such threats, stringent security measures have been implemented and the purity of the Bane's Blade's machine spirit is zealously safeguarded. Across the span of history, the Bane Blade has been at the forefront of countless epic battles and heroic deeds. From the defenses of vital fortress worlds to the liberation of besieged colonies. The Bane Blade has been an instrument of salvation and a symbol of hope against the overwhelming odds. Many heroic individuals have emerged from the Crucible of Battle, earning a place in the Bane Blade's storied history. From legendary tank commanders who have mastered its powerful arsenal, to valiant crew members who have selflessly sacrificed themselves to save their comrades, these heroes have etched their names into the annals of Imperial history. The cultural impact of the Bane Blade extends far beyond the confines of the battlefield. Its cytography, its imagery, have been synonymous with the indomitable spirit of the Imperial Guard. Adorning propaganda posters and inspiring countless regimental campaigns. Countless tales, plays, and holovids have been created to honor the deeds of the Bane Blade and its heroic crew. Sculptures and statues are erected on countless worlds as a testament to its legendary status and pilgrims travel vast distances to lay eyes on these magnificent, wonderful, colossal war machines. As the Imperium of Man faces ever-increasing threats and challenges, the Bane Blade remains an integral part of its defenses. The Abdetus Mechanicus continues to refine its design explore new technologies, and adapt the Bane Blade to face evolving adversaries. From the front lines of In This War, to the training grounds of aspiring tech commanders, the legacy of the Bane Blade continues to inspire generations of warriors. In conclusion, the Bane Blade is a colossal war engine. It traces its origin back to the days of the Great Crusade. Crafted in the throes of the 30th millennia, the first prototype emerging from the forges of Mars, birthplace of the Adeptus Mechanicus, as Imperium sought to expand, a demand for armor behemoths capable of unparalleled destruction arose. The tech priests, fueled by their insatiable quest for knowledge, refined and expanded upon the early designs. With each iteration, the Bane Blade grew in size, shrank. By the time the Horse Heresy engulfed the galaxy, the Bane Blade has already solidified its reputation as a harbinger of destruction. The Bane Blade stands as an immortal colossus, transcending the ages and etching its indomitable presence upon the annals of history. From its origins in the grim dark of the Horus Heresy to its continued service, this awe-inspiring war machine 
has been an enduring symbol of the Imperium's strength and determination. With its awe-inspiring design, devastating armory, and the legends it has spawned, the Bane Blade embodies the essence of Warhammer 40,000. A true titan among war machines, it remains a beacon of hope and an emblem of the unwavering resolve of humanity, forever defending the Imperium from the darkness that threatens to consume it. May its legacy continue to echo through the ages, inspiring courage and valor in the hearts of those who stand in its shadow. For the Emperor. Hey, thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate it. This video actually took me quite some time to do, and it's one of the longest videos in this format I have done. But if you all watch it, hit the like button, subscribe, help this channel grow. Thanks everyone. I appreciate it all. For the Emperor.